What's going on guys? I'm gonna show you guys how you can make this here homemade ice box to deoxidize and bring your sneakers back to life, all for under $30. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can make this in under three minutes. Let's go. What's going on guys? Without wasting any time, let's get into the supplies you'll need for this actual ice box. So the nice thing is I made it super cheap. I think it only comes out to around 35 Canadian dollars after everything, after you assemble the whole thing. So it's kind of the most cost effective ice box I could pretty much make or think of. First supply we need is a cardboard box. I know you can use the plastic one, but again, we are in a budget here. I'm trying to make this as cheap as possible. I'm using a 12 by 12 by 12, but honestly, any size of any cardboard box pretty much works for this supply. Next up, we're gonna need some household aluminum foil, and it's gonna be used to line the inside of our ice box and essentially reflects the UV light. To hold down the aluminum foil as the lining for the ice box, we're gonna need some tape. You don't need a specific quality, but again, the stronger is probably gonna be better. Next, we just need some scissors to cut off some excess aluminum foil and some extra parts of the box we don't need. Lastly, our most useful and our most expensive supply is going to be the UV blacklight. This is going to help with deoxidizing the sneakers after we apply our Salon Care 40 or Angelus Soul Bright onto the sneaker. Now we have all our supplies, let's start with step one, which is assembling the box. All you need to do is assemble one side of the box and leave the top open so we have it pretty much hollow from the top. Since we need our box hollow from the top, for step two, we're just gonna cut off the extra flaps, which we usually tape down on a regular cardboard box. Next up, we have to tape the inside of the box. As you guys can see, I taped every single side and added a three x four pattern. This way we can lay down the aluminum foil without it moving, you know, anytime we're ever icing our sneakers. Step four is to take the aluminum foil and pretty much just place it all around the box and make sure you cover the entire surface area of the box just to make sure that there's maximum reflection. Lastly, all we have to do is place our sneakers inside of our homemade ice box, turn on our UV light and throw that right on top. I know this isn't the best looking ice box, but I'm telling you guys it's the most cost effective and it will get the job done. I hope you guys enjoyed that really quick tutorial. If you guys do have any questions or anything like that, just let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.